I now pronounce you teddy bear and wife. Let me kiss the bear. Yasuki Pros, Mark Wahlberg here. Go see Ted too. God bless you. Ted was a huge success uh, in the box office. Do you feel an extra pressure for Ted too living up to the hype? Yeah, there's there's always pressure. Um, you know, the, the pressure is commercial. Uh, creatively, for for me, I feel like we have a better movie. I, I, I you know, Ted one turned out great. I was very happy with it, but this one. The story is a bit more interesting to me. It's a bit more fleshed out, and, and there's a bit more grist to it. Have you missed Ted? Have you? Uh, I did. This going back to the movie. I did. I tell you, I've done a lot of movies, but I've never done a movie that had that kind of reaction with a relationship. Other than like with me and Will Ferrell, you know, people like seeing us together. Mm-hmm. Um, people really like seeing me with this teddy bear, or, or just like seeing the teddy bear, and I get to be with him. In the movie, you have a difficult job to prove that uh, Ted is uh, a real person in a right. court of law. Did you know any of this before saying yes to the role of Samantha? No. No. Um, is Seth so hard to say no to? Pretty much. Pretty much. I, do you trust him completely? I, For the most part, I trust him. I think I wouldn't have signed blindly onto a a second installment of a franchise if I didn't, like, know the director pretty well and trust him. So, yeah, I mean, it's definitely that kind of relationship that we have. Are you looking forward to Ted 3? I am. If it ever happens? Yeah. <laughs> I, hope it, I hope it does. I think it will. How is working with Seth MacFarlane like? Um, well, Seth is a dear friend of mine, so it's like going to set with a really close friend. Um He provides a really warm, open set that he also gives you the freedom to play around with things. Uh, But I'm I'm always super comfortable. We'll get a lawyer and we'll sue the government via civil rights. I'm Samantha Jackson. You must be Ted. Uh, yeah, Samantha Jackson. What's your middle name? Leslie. Oh my God, you're Sam L. Jackson. That's great. I mean, just like Sam L. Jackson. Who is that? You ever seen any movie ever? He's the black guy. He's not your typical uh, teddy bear. Do you think that racy jokes coming from him uh, are a bit easier to accept? To digest, yeah. Yeah, I think, I think if, if something is small and fuzzy and cute and <laughs> innocuous um, in appearance, then you can get away with a lot more. I think that holds true for Stewie on Family Guy. I think he gets away with a lot because he looks so inoffensive. Um, and I think it's the same thing with Ted. Uh, Ted, too, is uh, an evolution of characters. Ted is getting married. Uh, your, your character is getting divorced. Uh, were you excited to see such a progress in the movie? Yeah. I mean, I wasn't going to do... We weren't going to do a sequel unless we could make it different. Mm-hmm. And then also make it better than the first. I mean, that was the, that was the goal and that was the, that was the criteria. I mean, I, I had talked to Seth about that when they pushed, obviously, because first one was so successful but I've never done a sequel and for for that particular reason um but yeah you know the whole new thing and and you could tell in the first movie that John's marriage was not going to last even though they pulled it together you know through this tragic thing that happened with Ted uh they're still just going off in different directions you know and he he wasn't going to change so um everybody's doing uh director's cuts and extended cuts is there anything you uh, filmed and was left out of the movie. Yeah, there's actually quite a bit. There's actually quite, there's a whole sequence um, uh, after the the, um, uh, the 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 barn scene where uh, they're chased. The, the the owners of the pot field come back and find them. I think and it was shown on the trailer. Yeah, there's a big yeah. chase through the pot yes. field, which actually looks pretty impressive, but. You know, it's one of those things that, as cool as it looked, it just didn't advance the story. You didn't really need it. It just kind of made the midpoint of the movie longer, so it had to come out. We're never going to see it? You will see it on the, on the Blu-ray. What made you say yes to the sequel? To the sequel? Yeah. Uh, why would I say no? <laughs> it's a, yeah, it's a great movie. You had, obviously had a uh, smaller role in Ted 1, yeah. uh, a bigger role in Ted 2. Yes. Uh, do you think that... The character, Tommy Lynn, has a bigger influence on Ted this time. Yes, In definitely. his life, I think. Definitely. I, I think Ted is trying his best to mature and be a good husband. And, you know, he's, they get married in, in the first scene. So he's taken that step. He's, he's going to 
be a parent. Yeah. So. Have John and Ted learned any lesson going from Ted one to Ted two? Some, <laughs> but not that many. You know, they still need to figure it out. I mean, the fact that. You know, Ted watched my marriage crumble and disappear, yet still wants to get married because he wants to hold on to Tammy Lynn. And then as soon as the, the, they're married, the honeymoon is over. And now he's trying to find it. And I basically put on another Band-Aid, which is now to have a baby. Mm -hmm. He's just kicking the can. I mean, it's, a, it's a, just a matter of time. What's your favorite uh, scene in the movie? Mm, the hospital, maybe. Mm -hmm. The hospital. Um, and, you know, all the stuff with uh, in the courtroom, work, working with Morgan Freeman was funny in his office. Um, but getting to prank Ted because of what he did to me in the first one was yeah. pretty good. They've denied you the same rights as everybody else just because you're different. Can you get me my life back? Ted, do you believe you have a soul? <clears throat> what did you think I would do at this moment? Objection. Overruled. You're an active Instagrammer. Yeah, uh, I, am. I follow your Instagram. Thanks. You post uh, pictures of Finn, yeah. your dog. Yeah. Can you tell me what, ha what happened with uh, Mark Wahlberg and the yeah. little prank? Yeah, he just, you know, he like, he took Finn to get me back. Um, what did you do? For some prank. I just was just, you know, <laughs> I was just around, jumping out, scaring him, just. Being stupid, hiding things in his trailer. I, yeah, I have n no business doing that because I didn't know what he was capable of. What I'll happened? never. He just took my dog and I didn't know where he was and I was like screaming and crying and trying to find him and he didn't realize I'd be so upset. So he was like, oh, so okay. he brought my <laughs> dog back. Uh, I heard that you pranked Amanda Seyfried as well in the. Well. Uh, with her dog or something. What's your side of the story? She started it. Yeah. I ended it. That okay. Was it. So now we're friends. I mean, I welcomed her into the family like, hey, this is great. You're in Boston. You need anything. Brought her food from my restaurant. You know, tried to take care of her. It was nice to her boyfriend. And all of a sudden, she's trying to prank me. Okay. And I was like, hey, you don't want to start this game with me. So, so you got even. I went right to the, to the heart. But she said that eventually the outcome is that uh, Mark Wahlberg's an animal lover. Yes, yes. Well, talk about an animal lover. My God, we'd be we'd get in the car to do a scene. All of a sudden, I hear, I'm like, the dog's in the car. We're in the office. I'm like, the dog's under the desk. I was like, you can't bring your dog. I mean, is this bring your dog to work day every day and being pretty much in the scene or just behind the camera? And it's a very well behaved dog. But I mean, God, I only give the dog. The guy gave the dog one piece of chicken. He jumped right in a stranger's car. <laughs> So it wasn't your car? Yeah, we have, we have two cars, yeah. So I told my buddy, take the dog, put it in the car, and drive away. I was going to keep the dog for a week. I was going to bring it to New York with me, but she was crying so crazy. I was like, oh, God, i got to give this dog back. Bring the dog back. Free range chicken, I Yeah, think. roasted chicken. You want to be human in the eyes of the law. The important thing about being human is making a contribution to society. Talking about the first scenes, how difficult was it, the, the fight <laughs> scene in the beginning? Uh, that was my favorite uh, scene to film. That was, it took quite a, a substantial amount of time to film, but it was so fun. He just kind of like, we just played with each other and, um, you know, I was throwing frying pans and toasters and bottles and I, I threw a frying pan at one time and I hit the camera, which <laughs> okay. was not great. Um, if Ted was a real person, uh, who would you say is best for the role to cast? If he was a real yeah. Seth, obviously. <laughs> except for Seth, obviously. <laughs> yeah, except for Seth. Um, How would you imagine Ted as uh, uh, maybe, a real person? Uh, maybe like a Seth Rogen. Oh. Maybe, um, just based off, I don't know Seth Rogen, but maybe based off the characters that he's played. We have a new leading lady, Amanda Seyfried. Yep. Uh, did you, uh, when did you know that Amanda was going to be the, the right actress for, for, uh, for Samantha? Did you know at the time of filming uh, Million Ways Die the West? Um, late in the game, I suppose, because we, during the million, A Million Ways to Die in the West was when we were kind of developing Ted 2. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and it was originally supposed to be a different story, um, but when we changed the story and came up with this one, then it became clear that we needed a, a new female lead for, for mm -hmm. Mark. And, and I, had, I had 
just finished working with Amanda on the Western, and she was so funny and so cool and just somebody who delivers on screen for you and also is somebody you just like hanging around with. Like, she's just a great energy on set, and, and I, I don't think I ever heard her complain once about <laughs> anything. She's just, she's just great. Where the hell's my coffee? You're not building rockets? Figure it out! I'm a prick. 20 bucks, I can toss a cookie crisp into that guy's ass crack. Do it. I'm gonna do it. Oh, oh my God! Oh, Who did that? Oh. Sir, I apologize for my five-year-old child. Bad butch. You sit there and eat your fish nuggets. Fish nuggets. Go, go, go! Congratulations about uh, the way we get by. Thanks. Uh, you're finally starting off Broadway on stage by... Uh, a work of Neil Labute. Yeah. Um, how do you feel that you're playing in the latest play for such an important playwright? I feel really good about it. I feel like it was the, the hardest decision I've ever made, creatively and personally. Mm -hmm. um, and I feel like it really worked out to my advantage. How do you deal with uh, stage fright? It's different every day. I don't know. Lavender oil. You haven't found anything specific? No, no, I'm still terrified. I'm still terrified. I'm I don't, some days it's easier, some days I'm not scared. Other days I'm just like waiting for panic to set in. It's, it's, it's definitely interesting. It's an interesting way to live, but um, it's really fulfilling. But I try different things all the time. Exercising before I go out, breathing, mm -hmm. essential oils, um, not breathing, I don't know. We had a lot of cameos this time around. Um, apart from the ones we, we already seen in your movies, uh, if you were to make a dream team of cameos, who would that be? Uh, gosh, let's see. Um, Albert Brooks. Uh, I don't know, maybe Kristen Wiig. <laughs> yeah. um, and... Uh, I don't know, the monkey from Bedtime for, for Bonzo. I, I also know that you hate singing, let's say. Uh, what made you say yes to uh, Seth MacFarlane for Ted? Oh, I like singing. I just don't, I don't, I think the only thing I wouldn't want to do is a musical on stage mm -hmm. because of, I don't think my voice is strong enough. Maybe one day. But um, I don't know, Seth had a really great song that he had written a while ago with Walter Murphy and... Why not? I love singing. I'm definitely picking up the soundtrack. Good. Just oh, for thanks. That. I hope I'm on it. <laughs> why? Why wouldn't you be? Because uh, I heard a I heard a cover that Nora Jones did of the song, and I'm just wondering why she covered it. Well, if he, everyone sees this, I hope you're you're on it. Me too. <laughs> on I should ask him that. Do you consider yourself to be human? Objection. Sustained. No, the witness can't object. Overruled. Sidebar. Guilty. Speculation. Hearsay. Bailiff. Briefcase. Disregard. In my chamber. Stop beaver on the witness. Arrest. We could totally be lawyers. Right. Yasho Kipros. Hi, Cyprus. How are you? Thanks for watching. <laughs> Yasho Kipros. Yasho Kipros, Cyprus.